Hi, everybody. My apologies. Um, how are we going today? Good. Good. Your teacher is uh, lost. So she'll be coming in a minute. Don't worry. Okay. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to share my screen and get you guys started. Yeah, no, you're in the in the wrong classroom. So um, just I'll text you the link. Yeah, one moment. Okay, bye. Um, uh, can you see my screen, everybody? Yeah, I'm seeing. Yeah, beautiful. So today is reading and vocabulary yeah. revision because you've got your test this week, okay? So there's the four reading um, passages. Just if you could just read the first one just... Um, quietly just while I get the teacher into the online platform. Is that okay, everybody? Okay. Thank you. Hi, Narissa, how are you? Can you hear me okay, Miss Narissa? Sorry, yes, I can <laughs> hear you. Absolutely fine. Can you see my screen okay? Yes. Yeah, all right, I'm going to stop sharing. The students, right. I'll just actually, before I stop, I'll just show you what they're doing. Right. Um, so they've just gone straight into the reading and started reading the first text. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Um, and, so uh, do I'll you, just, go on. Uh, so if you like, I can get their attention and introduce you. I'm sure they're very excited to have you here. Um, or if you yeah. want them to stay in the in the concentration mode, we can leave them there and you can pull them out when you're ready. What would you like me to do? Um, let me just say, so quickly, are they reading from their own screens or my screen or that's just something my call? Uh, well, it's your call. At the moment, I think it's their screens. Sure. Okay. All right. No problems. Um, I don't mind if you introduce... All right. Hey, everybody. Could I get your cameras on for a minute? Sorry to interrupt you all. I know you're all very excited to prepare for your test. <laughs> There's Miss Jan Pan. Yes. How are you today? 
Vamos good, and you? Good, good, Jen Pam. Would you like to introduce yourself to your teacher today? Narissa is a teacher who's been traveling around the country, enjoying life while we've all been in lockdown. We, oh, we have new teacher today. She's here to help you, yes. It's good. <laughs> Please say hello and tell her a little bit about yourself. Okay. Hi, teacher. My name is Jen Pen Tokel. Can you call me Pen? I'm from Thailand. Nice to well, meet you. Nice to meet you too, Jen Pen. <laughs> Thank you. Who else do we have? Okay. And Kaleida, jump on in. Hi, teacher. My name is Leida. And I'm I'm from Italia and uh, eh, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Where in Italy are you? Milano. <gasps> Milan. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Milan. Yeah. <laughs> Good translation. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Who else do we have? Young Gizem, would you like to say hello? Hi, teacher. I am Gizem. I am a Turkish. You're Turkish from Turkey? Yeah. From Hi, Turkey. Gizem. Yeah. I'm Narissa, and I'm in Queensland, Australia at the moment. Oh, perfect. <laughs> you are really lucky. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Narada. No problem. Andrea, would you like to say hello, please? Could you put your camera on and your uh, microphone? And Jaya as well, please. Just to say hello. Hey! <laughs> My name is Andrea Bonamisa. Uh, I uh, come from uh, Hungary. I live in Narevar and Sart uh, five years ago. Uh, an, um, an employment and uh, an, an employment and uh, Australian citizen. Hi Andrea. Hi. Nice to meet you. You are on are you new teachers? I have worked with Narada before, before lockdown. Um, but I have taught before and I have been to China to teach English as well. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe tell them what you've been doing the last year, Narisa. I find it quite interesting. I have been traveling around Australia, looking after people's homes and pets when they go away on a holiday. <laughs> so, well, they always change their home uh, and uh, save uh, other uh, home and other pets. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. And free a trip. <laughs> it is a free, free trip. Accommodation. accommodation. <laughs> Free accommodation, yes. <laughs> so in this house, I am looking after one dog, two cats. Mm -hmm. yes. And next week, a new house and two dogs and three chickens. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> after only two chickens, because you cat. <laughs> chicken next <laughs> Chicken dinner. <laughs> no, they are too little. <laughs> I think Ona will be very angry. Yes, or I could eat three chickens and be full. <laughs> A very yeah. interesting story. Yes. A lovely yes. lifestyle you lead there. Young Thank Jaya, you. would you like to say hello, please? Hello, Nirsa. I'm Jaya and I'm from Sri Lanka. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. But I cannot see you. Where is your camera? <laughs> okay, uh, actually, I'm outside. Okay, I want my camera. Ah, oh, in your car. Hi. In <laughs> car. I am underneath the house in a room, especially <laughs> for teaching. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Nelsa. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. you. All right, everybody, the fun is over. It is exam week, so you do have your tests on Wednesday and Thursday. Miss Narissa is here to help you with your reading. Maybe if there's some time at the end, you guys can have a little bit of fun. Um, but for now, you've got those four texts. I'm going to log out. If it drops, I've made you the host, so everything okay. should be okay. If it drops yep. out, 
just ring me immediately, but otherwise right. I'm pretty sure I can exit. Have a good okay. class, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Good Thank luck you. this week. Thanks everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Now, would you like to keep reading quietly to yourself? Everyone? Yeah, yes. whatever you want. Uh, yeah. Okay. Keep reading. If you have any questions, ask me. Hey, teacher. Has anybody got any questions? Who would like to practice reading out loud? I, I would like. Yes? Because you can fix uh, pronunciation. Good thinking. Well done. Which um, reading would you like to practice? Uh, what, what you want. Have you read the thrift shop first? Okay. Yes. Read on uh, read on thrift shops. Mm -hmm. Thrift shops or op shops in Australia. Op is short for opportunity. A mm -hmm. thriving with endless options from flawless fashions item fashion items to vintage uh, finds and individual souvenirs. The craze uh, for second hand shops continues and. Uh, there is no reason why it shouldn't be considering every contribution goes a long way. But why should you really check one out if you haven't done so before and become a slight uh, charity shop addict like me in the making? Mm -hmm. Well, here, here are my five top reasons for why charity shops are the best for buying clothes with a, a difference. Good. A small pronunciation correction for you. Opportunity. 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 Correct. Opportunity. opportunity. If it was an American accent, opportunity. <laughs> it's okay. Like Australian. Okay. Opportunity. The second, uh, second yes. syllable is uh, uh, stronger. Yes, it is. And just watch that you stop at the comma and the full stop. Okay. So I will read that for you and you can hear the difference. Two continues, two continues need more stop. Uh, the comma you were speaking too fast. So mm -hmm. the craze for secondhand shops continues and there is no reason why it shouldn't be. Considering every contribution goes a long way, but why should you really check out, uh, check one out if you haven't done so before and become a slight charity shop addict like me in the making? Well, here are my five top reasons for why charity shops are the best for buying clothes with a difference. So you can play with your tone as well when you speak to make it sound interesting. Next. So, number one, yes? Number one, cheap and cheerful. Good. One, one of the main reasons that uh, those retail establishments are so popular is that they are great value for money. You are able to buy clothing of all all types for a relatively decent price that accordingly goes to a good cause, making you feel cheerful for spending money and not guilty for, for blowing your money. And let's face it, affordable price never go amiss. Okay, great. Um, one, two small corrections. In the first sentence, one of the main reasons that these retail establishments established one of the main reasons that these retail establishments yes establishments. good yes and last sentence and let's face it affordable prices have a look 
for the S at the yeah, end. Plural. And let's face it, affordable prices never go amiss. Good, very nice. Uh, plural, I lost S. That's okay, it's a very small thing, but lo lovely reading. Different meaning. Number two. Two, sustainable fashion also known as eco-fashion, where one is part of the growing trend of sustainability and fashion in order to support our environment and those around us, giving us a sense of social responsibility. When one simply buys something from a charity shop, you are strengthening the Good. growing project uh, projects and making the world a fairer place in the long, long run. Good. Be the difference you want to see simply by buying an item or two every now and then you could be changing somebody's life in a need. Lovely. Two corrections. Um, you are strengthening the growing projects. You are strengthening, strengthening, strengthening the growing projects. Projects, yes. Strengthenings. Strengthen, strengthening, strengthening. Good. Strength and ings. Strengthening, strengthening. Uh, <laughs> 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 Do you want to have another go? Strength. Strength. Strengthening, strengthening, strengthening. Good, sounds nice. Strengthening, Good. strengthening. Yes, yep. Um, and the other one was the growing trend. Growing trend. Growing yes. trend. Good girl. Well done. Number three. Three. Be original. Don't you find it lam lame uh, when you catch somebody with the same shirt? shirt or top on as you. Well, now is your change to be different. You can find clothing that will not available in conventional stories, stories, allowing your originality to flourish and not be copied. Furthermore, when somebody asks where you got something from, you can grin in delight that you had bought it from a charity shop, then they can copy you too. Yes, very good. Um, one word was, let me find it. Conventional store. Uh, lame in the first sentence. Lame, you did a good read correction. Well lame, done. Lame, 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 yes. lame, lame. Yep. Now your chance to be different. You can find clothing that will not be available in conventional stores, allowing your originality to flourish and not be copied. Furthermore, when someone asks you, yes, you did good. One correction. Well done. Four. Uh, raise yes. awareness. Yes. Most retail units have a parent charity. For example, Oxfam being one of the biggest global aids. This means that when you buy from this specific chain of charity shop, you know that you are supporting their activities and furthering their charitable work. Another factor is the environmental effect is has due to mass construction, construction in shopping these day, days. Instead of buying completely new goods, uh, you can buy a, a perfectly good as new item for half the price. Beautiful. Well done. Uh, range of goods. Five. The amount of merchandise that charity shops have to offer, offer, offer uh, is endless. Mm -hmm. Depend on where you go, of course as some shops only sell clothing, yet other bigger and uh, renov renov 
I don't know. Granola. I don't know. This one. That's okay. Keep going. The oven. The oven. The oven. Literally, everything you can imagine, such as books, shoes, bags, and socks. Not to mention that some shops sell new uh, stock from department store stores that have donated them and vintage items like vin vinyls, CD, mm -hmm. and clothing that are no longer available anywhere else. Good. The list should go on, but I hope this has spurred yes. you on to try out a guilt-free shopping trip uh, while supporting, char supporting charity, looking unique, uh, unique, and feel fab uh, about it. Well done. Okay, so let's go back to that big stumbling one. And well done for try uh, recorrecting. Re renowned. So remains. Yet other bigger and renowned chains offer literally. Bigger and the, the orphanage chain of the lit, lit, literally, literally renowned, renowned, renowned. Yes, renowned. They've got a reputation. Renowned, renowned, renowned. Show me your mouth when you say this. Renowned, renowned. Good, much. Renowned. Yes, renowned, renowned. Would you like to read that sentence again? Uh, okay. Please. The, uh, depend. Depend. Uh, yep. On, on the, uh, the, where you go, of course, as some shops only sell clothing, yet other bigger and round, round <laughs> chains of <open>. all <laughs> <laughs> Everything you can image. Uh, such as books, shoes, bags, and socks. This where I'm, I, I, and my, my tongue break. <laughs> That's okay. Go slowly. Reopen. Reopen. Renowned. Renowned. Ow. 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 It hurts. Ow. Renowned. Renowned. <laughs> yes. Right. And look at this. Uh, literally everything you can imagine. Not image. Imagine. 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 Yes. Imagine. Imagine. Yes. Literally everything you can imagine. imagine. Anything in your mind you can think. I, I know imagine, but I, I'm speaking wrong. I, uh, I know the meaning. Imagine. <laughs> imagine. Imagine. Okay. So, Andrea. Why would you shop at an op shop? Because it's short for an opportunity. Yes, it is short for an opportunity, but why would you buy clothes from an op shop? Uh, there, uh, I read five uh, uh, mm -hmm. things. Uh, cheap and cheerful, mm -hmm. safe environment, yes. uh, and have uh, this charity work. Uh, and the uh, donation, but I, I don't know. Two, uh, this um, uh, uh, unique, but yes. I don't know. Unique original, clothing. original, or unique. Good, good. The sustainable, sustainable fashion, but yes, I, a little bit changed the meaning, but understand, but not uh, remember all. <laughs> Say again. Uh, a little bit change the the meaning um, because not uh, remember correctly all uh, five uh, things. That's fine. Uh, you don't need to memorize. Just be able to answer questions from the reading. Mm -hmm. So yes, original clothing. No one else will have clothes like you. Uh, cheap. Doesn't cheap and cheerful, cost to, cheap and, cheerful, yeah, cheap cheap and cheap. help other people. So cheerful. Uh, can you think of some others? 
uh, this um, uh, this uh, raise awareness uh, and uh, sustainable patient. Uh, this, Good. This, uh, <laughs> I read. <Very> nice. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm just t typing to somebody. Okay. All right. So. Um, so you can buy, oh, you can do eco-friendly as well. Do you know what eco, eco fashion is? Because uh, when we uh, buy uh, the second hand, uh, we uh, see the environment because this thing uh, not, uh, uh, did not put a rubbish bin and uh, uh, then can use uh, other way we have uh, the environment. Well done. High five. Good <laughs> job. Uh, no, I can't find. It's not open. Module okay. 10. No. Module 10 is not open? Yeah. For emus? Yeah, emus. Okay, let me just check. Module 10, revision and testing week May 3. Yes, true. I can see Monday reading vocabulary revision, but I uh, touch it's not open. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't see anything. Let's um, share a screen and I can share my reading with you. Let's see what it's going to let me do. Mm -hmm. hmm. Is it going to let me share? It's not showing. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see mm. you <laughs> now. Ah, okay. Multiple projects. Simultaneously, dual monitors, one participant can share at a time. Let's do that one. And let's one participant at a time. Ah, here we go. Hmm. Okay. It's not allowing me to. Let me go to speaker, no, and full screen. No, okay. I, it's not allowing me to share my screen. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Desktop one, let's try this again. No, we don't want Safari, we want Chrome. Use. There we go. Let's try this again now. Is it going to allow me to do that? Okay, can you see my screen if I do this? Yes, now I can see. So no, no reading has come up? No. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Here we go. So just to go back, mm -hmm. here's emus. Yeah. 
module 10 and down the bottom here mm. reading on thrift shops okay i'll try again okay otherwise it's on my screen you can read from my screen okay just seconds yeah no nothing to me is it working no my uh, system uh, doesn't look it's ah. yeah it's too interesting you can practice reading on my yours okay. computer screen okay let me know when you finish and mm -hmm. need to go to the next reading okay Teacher? Yes. And can I try later. reading and maybe and yeah, I'm laid up. Yeah. Can I try the reading and maybe you can help me when I Yes, I would In love my pronunciation. to. Pronunciation. Thank you. What would you like to read? Um, Thripper Shop. The, yes. Maybe the second, I don't know, wherever, but some <laughs> words and for me, some words for me is difficult, the pronunciation. Good try. <laughs> well done. Try number two. Okay. Sustantible, sustantible fashion. Also known as eco fashion, where one is part of the growing trend of sustainability and fashion in order to support our en environment and those around us, giving us a sense of social responsibility. When one simply buys something from a charity shop, you are strengthening the, the growing project 
projects and making the world a fireplace in the long run. Be the difference you want to see. Simple by buying an item or two every now and then you could be changing somebody's life, life in need. Good. Okay. Lita, very good self-correction. So very good. You will get points for correcting yourself. If you stop and do nothing, it's not good. So let's start with the first word. Yeah. Sustainable. Sustainable yes. fashion. Okay. Sustainable fashion. Yes. Sustainable. Good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sustainable fashion. Sustainable. That was your first. Yes. Okay. Good girl. Thank you. That you struggled with. Sustainable. Yes. The next one was environment. Yeah. Environment. Good. Environment. environment. Okay. Environment. 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 Good girl. Yes. Environment. environment. Good. Well done. Thank you. Um, charity, okay. not charity. Charity. Ch. Oh, okay. Like, charity. Yes, like chair. Charity. Ah, oh, okay. Charity. On, yes, good. Charity. Okay. Good. Good. Um, then it, you're welcome. Strengthening. Strength. Strength. Strengthening. No. Yeah. Strengthening. Strength. Strengthening. Strengthening. Yes, good girl. Strengthening. Strengthening. Yes. Strengthening. Yes, good girl. Strengthening. And fairer. Making the world a fairer place. Okay. Making a world a fairer place. No. Fair. Fair. Uh, ah, fair, fair, fairer, fair, fairer. Okay, fairer. Yes, fair. Fairer. After a fair, after pronunciation error, fairer. Fairer, fair. The first R is softer. Fairer. fairer. Okay, fairer, fairer. Fairer, yes. <laughs> Sorry, it's tricky. Fairer. It's another way of saying a better place and equal for everybody. If it's fair, then it's equal for everybody. Fairer is making it bigger. It's not just a small little town now, it's the whole place. Okay. So fairer. fairer, fairer. It rolls together. A fairer place. Fair, fairer, fairer, fairer place. Fairer. Good. Yes. Otherwise, mm -hmm. sometimes if you say fair, it can fair. be like a fairground. So fairer yeah. is equal. So fairer, and the last one was simply. 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 By, yeah, simply by buying an item or two every now and then, you could be changing somebody's life in need. Simply. Simply. Yeah, yes. simply. Would you like to try again? Simply. Simply by buying. Yeah. Number two. <laughs> Again, the, yeah, sus, uh, sustainable. Sustain, 
Sustainable fashion. Lita, Lita, uh, get your phone yeah. and record me saying. Okay. Then when class is finished, you can listen again. My my reading, my pronunciation, or your. I can record when you read or when I read. Which would you okay. like me a question. to read it? I, so you can okay. record, and then after class, you can listen to correct pronunciation. Oh, good job. Yeah, I, I, I would like that. Yeah, to okay. record your reading and after I, yes. I hear your record. Okay, yes. thank you. So I will read the whole lot. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. Reading, are you recording? Reading. Okay. Reading on thrift shops. Thrift shops or op shops in Australia, op is short for opportunity, are thriving with endless options from flawless fashion items to vintage finds and individual souvenirs. The craze for secondhand shops continues and there is no reason why it shouldn't be, considering every contribution goes a long way. But why should you really check out one out if you haven't done so before and become a slight charity shop addict like me in the making? Well, here are my five top reasons for why charity shops are the best for buying clothes with a difference. Number one, cheap and cheerful. One of the main reasons that these retail establishments are so popular is that they are great value for money. You are able to buy clothing of all types for a relatively decent price that accordingly goes to a good cause, making you feel cheerful for spending money and not guilty for blowing your money. And let's face it, affordable prices never go amiss. Number two, sustainable fashion also known as eco fashion, where one is part of the growing trend of sustainability and fashion in order to support our environment and those around us, giving us a sense of social responsibility. When one simply buys something from a charity shop, you are strengthening the growing projects and making the world a fairer place in the long run. Be the difference you want to see. Simply by buying an item or two every now and then, you could be changing someone's life in need. Three, be original. Don't you find it lame when you catch somebody with the same shirt or top on as you? Well, now is your chance to be different. You can find clothing that will not be available in conventional stores allowing your originality to flourish and not be copied. Furthermore, when somebody asks where you got something from, you can grin in delight that you have got it from a charity shop. Then they can't copy you too. Four. Raise awareness. Most retail units have a parent charity. For example, Oxfam being one of the biggest global aids, 
This means that when you buy from the specific chain of charity shop, you know that you are supporting their activities and furthering their charity work. Another factor is the environmental effect it has. Due to mass consumption in shopping these days, instead of buying completely new goods, you can buy a perfectly good as new item for half the price. Five, range of goods. The amount of merchandise that charity shops have to offer is endless. Dependent on where you go, of course. As some shops only sell clothing, yet other bigger and renowned chains offer literally everything that you can imagine, such as books, shoes, bags, and socks. Not to mention that some shops sell new stock from department stores that have donated them. And vintage items like vinyl, CDs and clothing that are no longer available elsewhere. The list could go on and on, but I hope this has spurred you on to try out a guilt-free shopping trip whilst supporting charities, looking unique and feeling fab about it. Okay, so that will help you practice after class. Would you like to practice again? Uh, this is very good, uh, but I think this need program, every reading under need uh, this uh, uh, sound reading, this when, when we can practice at home more time. Yes. Uh, this earlier was a similar program when uh, uh, Daniel Maloney worked work here, but after gone and changed the program, a lot, uh, lot of good exercise gone. This oh. earlier earlier, uh, uh, more helpful was the, the program. Uh, okay. And if, if we, uh, uh, we, we uh, uh, come uh, different, uh, 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 um, different state, uh, we, we use different sound and more helpful, we can listen and practice at home more time. Okay, so would you like me to read the next one? And you can record on your phone no, and no, listen. I think, I, think, uh, I think earlier the school program was better. A uh, okay. lot of exercise was uh, uh, under the reading and a lot of question and a lot of uh, uh, sound when help uh, when we practice at home. But okay. this not uh, this is gone. This is less the program and uh, less helpful. Uh, oh, yes, I I try, but only uh, use a Google dictionary. This not not uh, a school program. But earlier was was more helpful the school program. I spoke, okay. I spoke it, uh, and uh, under the reading, if I I can listen. Uh, yep. uh, and uh, the reading, I try, but uh, when, when think and good or not, I don't know, check, only when use Google Dictionary. But okay. more helpful when, uh, uh, when we all uh, under the reading, we can listen when you uh, made uh, uh, this five minutes ago. And listen. Okay. Uh, okay. I think... Uh, more helpful if it changed the program. Okay, um, Andrea, I suggest you let Nerida know that she is the boss I and know. she can yeah. make the change. Earlier was, was Daniel 
uh, I think then yeah, grand, uh, first of March, the program was better. And okay. uh, uh, please, please, uh, similar program, please uh, ask uh, uh, Turner, Miss Turner. Yes, I can. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was more helpful for me and for me, the yes, same. Because uh, uh, have more agree, exercise. Agree with me, agree with me, Ankarida. Do you agree? With yeah, me? have more exercise, more listen. Is the same. When you read something, I I understand more yeah. than, and I my pronunciation is is more good. I can fix my pronunciation with myself because I I listen and I do yeah. that. I record my voice and I listen. Yeah, it yep. was more helpful. But I don't okay. know why change that or maybe to put some exercise about the reading about that. Yes, I do don't for myself. Know. Okay. But okay, maybe you are know now and so Lita, you would know, you but... like me to keep <laughs> but reading? But this is okay. This is because... yeah, would you I, like yeah, me? Yeah, I prefer. Okay. Like ask you, you uh, we uh, read uh, together the two uh, second, uh, third, and fourth reading. Uh, if you uh, you can listen uh, uh, your good pronunciation, we they try okay. to check. <laughs> uh, yes, that, so I'm happy judge. to read to help you with correct pronunciation, <laughs> so you can. Uh, I, I hear try. It. Uh, if you want read uh, this, uh, all all good. But I think they jump uh, second reading because we have four uh, big uh, reading uh, tasks. Yes, you, four reading today. I will read this one. Today because tomorrow uh, two. a lot of new exercise, this speaking exercise tomorrow. Today uh, right. we need finish for reading. Excuse me. Okay, I will read this one, number two, for you, so you can hear the correct pronunciation. And if you want, you can use your phone to record me speaking, and then you can listen after class, and you will be able to hear and practice correct pronunciation. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Ready? Everybody ready to record? Lita, ready? Yeah, I'm ready for about what you're reading because the first I, I just I did that. Now it's another reading. Yes. Ah, yeah. Problems number we went two. Solve. Problems we okay, want yeah. to solve. Okay. Which, reading yeah, number two. Problems we want solved. Billions of people wake up every day trying to solve the world's problems. It's an amazing thing. But the world is still filled with problems. Some are extreme. Climate change, terrorism. Some are just annoying. Traffic and storage. We back entrepreneurs tackling these problems. They usually come to us with a business or an idea, but it's also on us to share what we see as problems that need solving, hoping to spur ideas. Here's a list of problems we'd like to see solved and perhaps businesses we'd fund. One, low cost, reliable internet access. More than 34 million Americans don't have access to high speed internet. It's not even available. And more than 25 million can't afford high speed internet. So 60 million Americans aren't using high speed internet in their homes, which is about equal to the combination populations of California and Texas. This is absurd. Where investors in Tazka connects? 
which is running full speed at this problem. But we'd love to see it taken seriously by a greater number of companies and regulators. Number two, next gen children's toys. Wired magazine once ranked the top toys of all time. Stick, box, string, cardboard, tube, and dirt. This will be true 50 years from now. But if you've ever watched a three-year-old masterfully operate an iPad, you know how much potential kids have with technology. Parents, however, tend to limit or ban screen time out of fear of rotting their kids' brains. That fear comes from a rational realization that most technology doesn't foster creativity and dexterity the way a stick or string does. It's time to change that. Kids grow up in a world dominated by technology and they should be exposed to it from the time they're babies. Number three, ambitious, low energy, low cost, scalable desalination. I have a feeling the person who figures this out will be the one of the heroes of the 21st century. Number four, traffic lights. Seriously, someone please make a better traffic light and convince municipalities to buy them. Few moments remind you of your life slipping away than sitting at a red light when no cars are crossing the other way. Five, civic engagement tools to hold politicians accountable. It's too easy to campaign one way and legislate another. We need something like change.org but beyond petitions, something with teeth that politicians sign onto and holds them accountable. Apps that clearly show exactly how government money is being spent could also be helpful. Number six, a media company devoted to helping you understand the everyday lives of people outside your socioeconomic group. This has to be done in a way that is engaging enough to get people to want to read it. It's so vital that everyone is able to understand how people of different means, higher or lower, think and live their life. Seven, a better way to sell a home. It's insane that people still pay four to six percent real estate commissions. It's made a little sense 30 years ago when all home data was proprietary to real estate brokers. But the internet has changed that. Stockbrokers, travel agents, and insurance salesmen have all seen their margins shrink, if not disappear, due to broader access to information. But realtors are hanging on. Time to shake that up. Eight, 
Can Academy for Adults visually teach me something important that I need to know to be a functioning adult? You have three minutes. Number nine. A cure for social media overload addiction. I shudder to think how much productivity I have lost over the last decade due to checking Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I don't want to get rid of these products, but I need a way to check them less often while not feeling like I'm missing out. Number 10. Analytics that show how much my daily habits are detracting from my goals. A lot of bad things happen too slow for people to notice until it's too late. Poor diet can lead to cancer and heart disease. But you never know that from eating a single cheeseburger. Sleep deprivation takes its toll. But what's one late night going to do? To understand what I'm trying, sorry, to understand what I'm doing to myself, I need to see the cumulative long-term effects of my habits Every day I engage in those habits. 11. More efficient home insulation. My thermos keeps my coffee warm for eight hours straight, but my house requires a constant gas burning furnace to maintain humane temperatures. One trend I'm convinced of is that we'll realize the biggest source of new energy is increasing the efficiency of our energy burning stuff. 12, a solution to food waste. Farmers, wholesalers and consumers waste a ridiculous amount of food. But a third of food is lost or wasted by some estimates, which equates to more than one trillion dollars a year. That's some low hanging fruit. I'm sorry. Just like energy, making better use of what we have can be more valuable than finding new ways to make new stuff. Lita, would you like me to keep reading? Yeah. Okay. I thank you. I thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Number three. Number three. Reading <coughs> on keeping a routine. Some people love to have a solid daily routine, while others shudder at the thought of having a predictable schedule. During times of great stress, however, maintaining structure and routine can help you feel more organized and in control. Having a routine can be helpful at any time, particularly if you are trying to establish healthy habits. But these routines can be particularly important when aspects of your life feel uncertain. The disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic have dramatically altered many people's normal routines, which makes that much harder to cope with the stress that people are feeling. A sudden lack of structure. 
many people are either working from home or faced with the prospect of an unknown period of unemployment. Those working at home may quickly discover that the constant isolation and lack of a normal schedule can be mentally taxing. When people don't have a routine or a structure to their day, it can cause increased stress and anxiety, as well as overwhelming feelings, lack of concentration and focus. Rachel Goldman, PhD. A lack of structure and routine can actually exacerbate or exasperate feelings of distress and make you pay more attention to the source of your problems. As Goldman, a psychologist and clinical assistant professor at the NYU School of Medicine explains, if people don't have structure and are sitting around with less to focus on, then they can probably, sorry, then they also probably will find themselves thinking about the stressful situation more, which can also lead to additional stress and anxiety. One way to get out of this cycle that promotes ruminating over the source of your stress is to maintain some structure and routine throughout your day. The benefits of having a routine. Research has consistently shown that routines can play an important role in mental health. One study, for example, found that routines could help other people better manage stress and anxiety. Having a regular routine can help you lower stress levels, form good daily habits, take better care of your health, help you feel more productive and help you feel more focused. Getting necessary tasks out of the way can also help you find more time for healthy behaviours like exercise and leave you more time to enjoy fun activities and hobbies. Five minutes. Next time, if I'm going to finish reading there, next time for a reading exercise with me, I will read so we, you can record. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> it can help you with your pronunciation. Japan, are you laughing at me? <laughs> Where's my class going? I can hardly see you all. There we go. Oh, I can't see you all. Must be because I'm sharing. Okay. So we have five minutes left in class does anybody have any questions no, uh, for me no no okay no i have a question about the, yeah. the test what i have to do the test for myself or what because okay. it's test reading, but I don't know what to, I have to do. Yeah, can you explain what I have to do about the test? That My understanding is you will be reading out loud. Oh, for the teacher to listening for? Yes. Listen to your pronunciation. Oh. Listen to you correcting yourself. Oh, not for read, for answering the question in the worksheet. I end questions in a worksheet, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> it, may, it, may, it, it may be just reading or it may be reading and questions. I think both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not, oh my God. <laughs> you will be fine. Read slowly. Read slowly. If yeah. you get scared and anxious, big breath. 
<laughs> okay. And, and another big breath. <laughs> it will help. It will help. Okay. Um, Lita, did that help you? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. It, it was yeah it was beautiful because i i hear your reading and i okay i record and after because i know the word when i have difficulty you know and but i understand the translation but i can i can see that i can uh, my i know my pronunciation is no good and i want to hear you but now i'm re a record yes and i'm going to hear that word what i mean or yeah. Okay. Linda? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It I was understood you. Thank you. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Thank so you. your, your pronunciation is good. It needs work, but it is good because <laughs> I understood you. Okay? Thank you. It is not horrible. So be kind <laughs> to you. Thank be you. Kind to you. You are doing well, everybody. You are doing a good job. You are trying and working hard. So good job. Good job. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> ah, Japan. Yes. <laughs> Let me hear you read quickly. We have two minutes. <laughs> I think so next, next hour is so okay. <laughs> No, no, no. Come on. You can read something quickly. Where do you want to read? You can't you tell you me. Start. You start. Um, start in a place number two. Listening or keeping a routine. Okay. Some people learn to have a so, so restary routine. Try or not. Others just as the those of hearing a predictable schedule during times of stress. However, man maintaining structure and routine can help you feel more organized. Good. Okay. And into control. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I just need to be deciding to give me the more time to read. I cannot read, but I can do it for story. That's fine. I think it will be good for you if if Miss Nerida has me come back and teach, then it will be good to um, have us record some English for you so that you can listen after class. Yes. And... I would like to. Yeah, good. See if you can go to the library. Um, and or or YouTube on the computer and see if you can find um, somebody reading a book. Yes, I have but I have to read some story, uh, yeah. listening story, you know. In the YouTube, people made in a big story, some story for one hour or two hours for listening. And I've tried to. Wow. Yes, but okay. in modern See, time. Find, find an easy story. Find, find a children's story. I done for. Yes. Short. <laughs> I, I done for more than, more than 10 stories. In a wow! Yes, many some story are I very much, and I can't dream in a night and <laughs> because you can listen and you can read it together. Oh uh, yes, so a, a listening story. We call them an audio book. I think I think it's named same when I read in uh, YouTube. Ah, good. Yeah. Okay. So that will help you. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Am I, are we having a break? And are you my students for next session? Yep. Ah, yeah. okay. So go and have a break. When we come back, 
I can finish reading Lita and we can record the rest. Yeah. And then you can read to me and I will help you with your pronunciation. Okay. 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 All right. So go have a break. Okay. Welcome. You, You're welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. Bye, Sid.
Oh, hot. Swim login is G N E R A L D E A C H E R S T U R N E R. Hmm. I need a set of timer. Lita, would you like to practice some reading? Lita, would you like to practice some reading? Excuse me.